Hey folks, this is just a straightforward playthrough of the entire Wonderwall chart. You can get a link for that chart on my blog. And here we go. So there you go, just a straightforward playthrough of the whole chart. It's tough enough on the left hand. You might find you uh, you have a little bit of muscle soreness in here in your thumb. This part of the thumb is doing a lot of work in supporting those four finger chords all the way through. If you do feel a little bit tiredness, a little bit of soreness in your thumb, that's perfectly normal. Uh, as we practice, these muscles in the hand get stronger. Um, so all you have to do is practice. It's just like working out for your hands. Um, I have another video which is a fast speed playthrough of an arrangement of Wonderwall. Uh, that can be a nice target for you but for now just stick with this nice relaxed slower playthrough and really get your left hand used to holding on to those chords for a long amount of time and also just changing and without looking if you can. You, you might have noticed a good number of times I wasn't looking at my hand uh, so I can, I can trust my hand to just know where to go using what's known as muscle memory. So I can, t I can tell without looking at my hand that it's gonna land in the right place. Uh, that's very liberating. It makes the th sort of thought process of uh, playing a song an awful lot easier because I don't have to worry about what the left hand is doing. I know that it's a way they're doing its own thing. I'm free to concentrate on my strum or maybe I'm singing at the same time or any amount of other things that I might need to concentrate on. So see if you can go back and practice this now without looking at the left hand. That's a nice extra challenge for you. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck.